Not even 10 seconds in and I've already encountered one of the greatest enemies to modern video games, Cinematic Letterbox. Honestly, what ass clown other than David Cage thought this was a good idea? Well, the CEO of Radio Dawn, obviously. Newsflash, you guys are creating a video game, not a motherfucking movie. And the fact that this persists throughout the entire game garners it five sins right off the bat. Hey, look, another enemy of modern video games, the overused first-person point of view of critical plot moments. Uh, I'm just getting started. You're just getting started, even though you're already out of breath. Also, that sentence is pretty inconsistent, considering the following line your partner says. <laughs> we'll come back and have another go later. Uh, oh man, this is going to be one of those games where the opening sequence is actually a scene that takes place in the middle of the game, isn't it? Ah. I always hate it in Medius Res. Except of course for that one movie whose name I will not mention, because if I did, I would already be breaking the first two rules. You about ready? These things take time. Put him back here. Clearly you two did not graduate from the Revolver Ocelot School of Torture. Fucking amateurs. What exactly are you guys doing that is taking time? You are just staring off into a corner for some reason. Ooh, quick time events, the final and most prominent enemy of modern video games. Let me ask you something, viewer. How many sins should that be, since it persists throughout the entire game? 10? 20? 30? Yeah, I think we'll go with 30. That seems about right. You want to know what I love about this part? I could just put my controller down, eat my lunch, come back, and Galahad will still be alive because this scene loops itself. <laughs> go ahead, give it a try. It's absolutely hysterical. Also, the first part of gameplay is a quick time event. Uh-uh-uh. You want to know what's absolutely ridiculous about this part? Just let it sit there. Absolutely nothing will happen. You could literally go to the bathroom, take a piss, then take a shower, come out, go to the kitchen, cook some calamari gumbo, come back and this screen will still be here. There are no consequences when failing to mash. <laughs> Absolute failure of game design. Also, by the power of video games, a weakened and battered Galahad is able to break these chains and kill this fool. Must be that magical mustache of his. So the guard can submerge Galahad multiple times and he remains alive, but Galahad does the same thing to the guard and he's drowned in literally 8 seconds? HA! <laughs> Weakness! So, this is the greatness that awaits, huh? Holding down buttons for an inordinate amount of time! HA! <laughs> Next gen gaming right here, baby! This is only a sin if you are thinking the exact same thing as I am. How do these assholes not spot him? Just my luck. What? Did you actually think that they were going to leave your weapon there fully loaded? Convenient escape tunnel is convenient. Walking Dead, that's what you are. Did you just say Walking Dead? Isn't that copyright infringement? He has a gun! Order to open fire. Whoa, fellas, whoa! Ah! Wow, such incompetence from these guards. Shooting their own man when he was used as a shield. These assholes can't hit their target. That's an illegal choke. You know, if you look at this sequence in a certain angle, you can almost see Joel in a whole new light. It takes 10 minutes for the game to finish its tagline from earlier. Now this has got to be one of the most pretentious tropes I've seen in a long while. Hey everyone, look how amazing our graphics are! Granted, there's no real point in examining these weapons, but come on! Graphics, son! You can't compare! I mean, I won't disagree, the graphics in this game are fantastic, but still. Developer narcissism at its finest. Yes, SXM2 Falchion. Okay, I'm gonna be really nitpicky here and say that Falchions are actually swords, not rifles. Particularly divine swords in the world of Fire Emblem. Your game is not nearly as good as any Fire Emblem game, nor is your weapon divine. Why is the sprint button disabled during these segments? I can't tell you how bored and annoyed I got just walking around like there's nothing important going on. We get it, your game looks pretty, get us to the objective already. Creepy porcelain doll. Sloppy camera movement. Honestly, what is the point of picking up these articles and notes that you'll do throughout the entire game? Most of them don't add any depth to the story nor add any insight to the characters. In other words, MEANINGLESS. 20 minutes into the game and this is the most fun I've had so far. And considering the total length, that is a decent amount of time to waste. Well, somebody failed at depth of field. Bowler hat. How did you arrive here so quickly? What the hell are you talking about? I've literally spent the last 20 minutes just walking around this area. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. That's ageist. I'm not cursed to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, 
This damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Oh, this is gonna be one of those mentor-protege relationships where the protege is a constant smartass bragging about how youthful and talented they are, isn't it? Yeah, that gets annoying really fast. I'm sure you don't need help, love. Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Pro tip when creating a strong female character. It's really simple. Follow the golden rule. Show her being a badass and not explicitly telling everyone how much of a badass she is. Samus Aran, Lara Croft, Jill Valentine, Alex Vance, Chun Li, Aya Bray, Bayonetta, The Boss, Liara Tassoni, Clementine. You could learn a lot from these ladies. Kratos? Oh, yeah, because ready at dawn. The developers of those portable God of War games. <laughs> Very clever. Uh, not really. Over 30 minutes before the actual gameplay begins. FIFA 1886. Clunky cover system. Generic combat dialogue. Escaping neutralized. Target down. I need to reload. Enemy down. Auto crouching. This is the closest thing to teabagging as you're going to get in this game. I see that the Mass Effect character development elevator decided to make an appearance. There is melee in this game, but only when the prompts allow it. Major fail right there. Game tries to implement the Deadeye mechanic from Red Dead Redemption, but it comes off feeling kind of clumsy. Hell, if you're like me, you'll forget you even have it throughout the rest of the game. Sir, General Raphael is in the next room. Really? We did all that fighting in the same building and he didn't hear any of it to go help? Let me guess. Judging by his name, he's French, and judging by the lack of assistance, he's a womanizer sweet-talking some lady right now. Right? Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Called it! Awesome. Strange. This is one of the many instances where the game tries to trick you into thinking that Percival is a traitor and hopes to make the story more intriguing. It doesn't really work. Marquis, you and Lady Grain take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. Rolling my eyes at this splitting from the group plot cliche. Go ahead. Are you making any headway? I'm in the generator room. Wait, you still have reception in an underground tunnel in 1886? Video game or not, that is a sin. Super slow I had a feeling I'd beat you here. Remember, youth always prevails. Hey, Hachi Mishima would like to have a word with you. Yeah, just let me do my badass werewolf transformation and then run away. Hold on, so there is a dodge button, but you can only use it in certain segments like these? What a failure of game design. Hey, you know those werewolves that were hyped up to be the big badasses of the game? Yeah, this is one of the only segments where you'll get to fight them. So enjoy it while it lasts. And to make matters worse, the werewolf AI is kind of stupid. It attacks you, runs away, and then attacks you from the exact same spot. The last one got away. Be great, I need your outcome. What the fuck? Why couldn't we use that before? Oh, never mind. Then the game would be too easy. But let me do some simple math for you. Bigger, more powerful guns, plus bigger, tougher enemies, equals more exciting gameplay. See Gears of War for proof. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Splitting from the group again. Also, how would you be able to track the werewolf's movements in a tunnel underground when it's fleeing the scene above ground? Ha! <laughs> Just a thought. Just a playful thought. See, this is the running that I want to do more of, but the game will not allow it because reasons. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. You mean elementary, my dear Watson? First the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders. You know, I really hate to be that guy again, but Jack the Ripper murders in Whitechapel actually took place in 1888. This game takes place in 1886. I know, I know. Fictional game in a fictional setting with mostly fictional characters. It's still getting counted as a sin. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis, nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Hey, if you didn't have subtitles turned on and you don't understand these languages, you are SOL here. Centuries have passed, but our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, 
King Arthur. Anytime you have a character talk about something sacred, balance, and the history of the organization, you can tell that character is secretly the bad guy. Maybe I've watched and played too many medieval movies and video games to fall for this plot twist nonsense. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. See what I mean? The Lord Chancellor just got done explaining how serious a threat is of lichen activity. Yet he's not willing to investigate the lichen infestation at Whitechapel? Obvious hints that the Lord Chancellor is evil are obvious. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. La 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 la, old man butting heads is boring. La 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 la. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. Shouldn't you do a roll count first? You know, individual by individual. That way you get a clear tally of the Whitechapel situation. More evidence that the Lord Chancellor is an evil piece of shit are obvious. You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwene? Sexism. Though not really surprising considering the year this game takes place. This way, please. Ah, oh, Tesla. Oh, my main man Tesla's in the game. Why isn't he the main protagonist? He's a real-life hero here. Epic rap battles of history did it better. More gibberish to me. My thoughts, exactly. Even for a game that takes place in 1886, the developers still managed to implement an unnecessary hacking device. Needless to say, I am unimpressed. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. Oh, you mean like your mentor who you quip about being so much better than? Didn't you say earlier that youth always prevails? Remember, youth always prevails. Yeah, thought so. Wooden prop that blocks an area where you're trying to get to mechanic. A failure of level design. Inability to smoke a pipe. The developer said, let's make sure we put apples in our game so that someone can look like a total asshole. Come at me, bro! <laughs> Bribing. Fake ass loading screen. Attempted rape. Eh, still better than Skyrim, but then again, anything is better than that bullshit. Still pads the runtime, so... Oi! There's no weapons allowed in the establishment. And by weapons, do you mean all types of weapons? Because you sure let them keep their giant blades. Zelda. Really? You guys really think you're that clever? <laughs> you're not! Tyrion Lannister is nowhere to be found in this brothel. Your main character is not getting laid in this scene. No guns in the establishment, huh? What the hell do you call this then? Also, quick time event versus naked man. Here's another convenient weapon, just lying around for Lafayette to use in the upcoming sequence. Look, monsieur, God did not save this queen. Wah, wah. You had all that time and a clear shot on an immobile subject and you still managed to miss? This asshole can't hit his target. Regenerative health. And rather slow regenerative health. Proving once again why it's one of the reasons I hate it. Ah, down but not out, huh? You want to take anything else from Gears of War? Like, actually being a good game? Explosive barrels that only exist to advance the gameplay. Symbolism. Percival. Percival, do you read me? Save your breath, monsieur. The buildings are blocking the signal. Come on, man. Just a while ago, Galahad was able to use his communicator in an underground tunnel with clear reception. Now you're telling me that it's not possible above ground atop a building, no less? Get the fuck out of here, son. I can see our target. The hospital is two miles west. Okay, I'm gonna be really nitpicky here, but don't they use kilometers instead of miles in England? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the United States one of the only countries in the entire world that doesn't use the metric system? Why are you using miles in London? Air Command, this is Galahad. I need response from anyone in the vicinity of Whitechapel. Mr. Galahad, this is Sentinel 5. Yeah, so much for those buildings blocking the signal. Am I right? Also, Morse code via touchpad. Guess they had to use it for something, because this is the only time you'll get to use it. Sony Circle Jerk. I'm reloading. I'm sure glad that our enemies are dumb enough to let us know when they're reloading so that we know when to shoot them. 
I blatantly missed this quick time event in defiance just to see if it would lead to an instant kill. I chuckled while shaking my head in disgust at the results. Hey! Random dumbass wasted the perfect opportunity to kill Galahad, ending the game instantly. It's a good thing though, because the game would be a lot shorter than it already is. Mon Dieu, there is enough firepower here for a small army. Some of this ordnance was manufactured for the order. Igraine even found an art gun in here. I was unaware that we had lost some of our inventory. We haven't. Yep. Just as I had predicted. It's gonna be one of those stories. A sacred order of knights who have kept peace and balance for hundreds of years, but alas. There is now corruption within the order that is the cause behind all of the recent deaths and destruction within the city. And it's up to you to connect the dots, uncover the truth, and expose it so that true justice may be served. Mind you, we're not even halfway through the game and I've already figured out the plot. Very bad storytelling on your part, devs. This guard is completely unfazed by this headshot. Why isn't he one of our sacred knights? Igraine, we're in position! About time! What took you all so long? I don't know. Could it be the lack of gunfire heard throughout the previous sequence? We needed exposition. The game didn't call for it yet. Enjoy this thermite rifle while you can, folks. It's one of the only cool guns in the game, and this is one of the only times where you'll get to use it. Oh no! The obligatory defend your position segment of the game! Just out of curiosity, do the knights have infinite volume of black water in these tiny vials? Because the game certainly thinks they do. What if they face more than one near-fatal encounter on a single mission? Will they have enough black water in the vial to save them? Details, man. They are important. Just rest easy, son. You're going to be alright. The it's going to be okay when it's really not cliche. Puts thermite clip on the boiler in this shot, then it re-emerges back on the gun in this shot. I mean, it's not that big of a deal since I'm sure he was just reloading. Still fun to point out, though. Save your prayers, Lafayette. There is no god to help him. Blasphemy! This guy just doesn't give a fuck. It's dead silent. Something's not right. I've got a bad feeling about this cliche. I saw it. Saw so what? Half breeds. Dude, get it right. They are werewolves. Lichens, if you're really feeling fancy. Half breed just sounds so. How do you say? Primitive. Sentinel Five. This is Galahad. Do you copy? So Galahad, this is Sentinel Five. On standby. Wow. Right place at the perfect time. Convenience. Confirming Gorton payload deployment. Requesting visual beacon for target location. Oh, damn it. Who has a transmitter? Here, Monsieur. He's my communicator. You mean to tell me only one of you sacred orderly knights came prepared for this sort of situation? Ha! Ineptitude. Confirmed. Jeez. So you can only use the cover button in certain segments as well? <sighs> I'm pressing the damn cover button in the footage you're watching right now, and nothing. Failure of game design. What is it? Who's Percival talking to? No one. Just some old sod off the street. Remember how I said that there were many instances where the game tries to trick you into thinking that Percival is a traitor? Yep, this is another major one. It's only a matter of time before the Lycans regroup and return. Holy crap, I just remembered something. Wasn't the term Lycan popularized by those underworld films starring Kate Beckinsale? Those movies kind of sucked. And they only got worse. Gray, one of us should search the basement. Agreed. I'll head downstairs. No, you assholes. No more splitting. Convenient lantern is convenient. Resident Evil ripoff. Tosses Galahad through the window. Takes a full 40 seconds to re-emerge from the exact same window. Big B Wolf has a better sense of smell than you. I can smell you. Of course you can, dummy. You tossed him in this room and he clearly has not escaped. Another cowardly werewolf. Are you sure they're not from Twilight? That's right, people. This is what boss fights have evolved to. Cutscenes just waiting for a button prompt for you to press, instead of, you know, actually fighting them. What's worse, there's only two boss battles in the entire game, this one included. Take a moment to sigh and shake your head in disgust. First person point of view or critical plot moments. Jeez, will you just ax his head already? Drink. 
Okay, now I'm confused at the power of this black water. I thought it was simply used to heal open wounds. You know, flesh injuries. Izzy clearly had her neck snapped. I wasn't aware that it healed broken bones as well. I'm just calling bullshit because of what happens later. Yeah, congratulations, Sir Galahad. You ended up performing the Save the Helpless Woman task after all, just like millions of male protagonists before you. It hurts. Izzy, you'll be fine. I can't do this much longer. Not this life. What do you mean you can't do this much longer? You're one of the youngest members of the Order, and some of those men have been through far more dangerous missions than you. I'm disappointed in you, Izzy. I thought you were going to be more than that. Okay, this important room, Izzy points out, ends up being locked. So why does she know what was in there so that Galahad could see it if it was already locked? Pointless much? Inability to do a quick 180 degree turn. Percival, we may have a situation on our hands. What is it? First, call in Nicola. We'll need armament. Galahad tells Percival to call Tesla to meet for weapons, but by the time he gets there, Percival is already finishing his conversation with Tesla about said weapons. Sir, this is for you as well. It should all be in working order. Thank you, Nicola. And the other weapon? Ah, yes. You never fail to deliver. Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest minds that ever existed in the real world, reduced to nothing more than this game's arms dealer. Just think about how much more unsatisfactory the game would be without him and his toys. As many flaws as this game has, even we will commend this extraordinary achievement. Look at this. Look how seamless the transition is from cutscene to gameplay. That's better than Uncharted. This is definitely a step in the right direction and should become a standard in gaming one day. Minus one sin. Isabeau and I will do reconnaissance. We need eyes on the ground amongst the guests. And imagine me with nothing to wear. I suppose I'll have to go dress shopping. Really? Clothes jokes? You know what? I'm done with you. I don't even care at this point. Who's the old man you were talking to on Mayfair and Whitechapel? The old man. It's a long story. One that I will share with you when the time is right. Or you'll have to wait for the possible DLC to find that out. I can just see it now. Percival, secret of the Grail Knight. You can go ahead and credit me if that happens. Wait for my go-ahead. On me. Go! That was kind of pointless, but okay. Just me. Redcoats. Redcoats, you say? Well, looks like they gotta die. Progress, they call it. Looks like a death trap to me. Am I going deaf? Did I hear that dude correctly? Did he just say it looked like a Death Star? Oh, hell no! Oh my goodness, there's a quick time event for a simple silent takedown as well? Why? I can see three in the cockpit. How the hell can you see three men in the cockpit from your current angle and position? What the bloody hell was that? A bomb just detonated on the front engine. Okay, first of all, how did you know that? And if you saw it, why didn't you try to stop it? And finally, a bomb going off in an airship would have immediately caused it to plummet back to the ground. They weren't exactly top of the line back then. I'm maintaining pursuit. Negative. Regroup on the lifeboats. We have a bigger problem. The rebels have a second device on board. What is this second device again, and how do you know they have it? Oh, you're not even going to bother to explain. Okay, I see how it is. Which also makes me wonder, if the rebels could just blow up the airship, killing their target Lord Hastings, then why didn't they just do that in the first place instead of trying to assassinate him in the ballroom? As you can see from earlier, they weren't exactly being stealthy about it. Your father will see reason. Right now, our concern should be finding the other device before it detonates. But why? The mission has failed. The whole point of boarding the ship was to unravel the mystery of Whitechapel without arousing suspicion. For all we know, the guard detail could have been infiltrated by the conspirators. We need to unravel this without arousing suspicion. The main target, Lord Hastings, is already safe. You literally have no other reason to remain on board. We need weapons. There's a guard station nearby. But you clearly already have weapons. See those guns and knives you got strapped on? Discount Mario Bros. These shotgun-wielding assholes. Stand down. You have no idea who you're dealing with. <laughs> you have no idea who you're dealing with, cliche. You don't have to do this. Guess I had to save money on that budget by cutting to black and not rendering the crashing of the airship. Can't say I blame them. Still sinful, though. See, this is what I was talking about. 
You're going to tell me that Galahad survives the crash back to Earth while being directly at ground zero of the explosion and surrounded by flames? Uh-uh. No amount of black water should cause him to still be alive. Lucan, Sacramo, Elian, we lost contact with Parsifal and Galahad. This communicator still works. Well, look at this. Even though Galahad and Percival were in the same spot of the explosion, Galahad is the only one to survive. Like I said, no amount of black water should cause him to still be alive. Also, congratulations. The only interesting character in the entire game and you killed him off. I know it's supposed to cause mourning for normal people, but all it does is aggravate me and cause me to lose interest in your story. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Lafayette. How are you still alive? Weren't you at the helm of the airship when it crashed? From the explosion is getting worse. How long can you stabilize the ship? Not long, monsieur. Bet you didn't think we'd catch that little detail, did you? Let this cloud pass. How can I? He was my mentor. Oh snap! I almost forgot! Mentor character that ends up dying cliche. That entire previous chapter lasted seven minutes. The black water that courses through our veins. The elixir which heals all wounds and extends the life of natural men. Yet, it cannot ensure immortality. Galahad's very survival proves otherwise. Drink. May the grail give you life beyond life. So, is that the holy grail? It's kind of confusing, because the game never confirms it. The late Sebastian Mallory did not perish in the fight against the Heartbreaks. Uh, technically he did. And that whole previous chapter lasted six minutes. Seriously, an entire chapter that was strictly a cutscene lasted six minutes. That deserves four sins right there. Quick question. If the whole objective was to ambush Lord Hastings, then why didn't they finish the job? You could clearly tell throughout this combat sequence that they had the bridge covered. They could have torched his carriage, burned him, be done with it. Hey, that character model looks a lot like the guy from the cockpit that we seized in the airship that crashed. Where's the Indian woman? Where is she? Galahad attempts his best Christian Bale Batman impersonation and... surprisingly passes with flying colors. Here! Take a look. Where's the trigger? Where is it? Where's the trigger? Where is it? Where is it? Landlord, a drink. A drink, goddamn you! Ah, uh, what better way to show a character going through grief than to have them slip into alcoholism? It's bad enough I see too much of this in real life, but now I gotta see it in video games as a quick fix for character development. I'm a kid, Jordan. I'm a kid, Bar Karange. If you didn't have subtitles turned on and you don't understand these languages, then you were SOL here. You seek to avenge your friend Mallory. Do not presume to speak his name. He was betrayed. You have all been betrayed. Betrayed? By whom? The men you call masters. Hmm. Corruption within the order. Told you so! This simple misunderstanding of Galahad leaving his collar here is the only reason why the latter half of this game exists. Gray, what games are you playing? Games that are far better than this one. Oh, <laughs> I'm just playing. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. But that was too easy. Ah, the wooden prop makes its triumphant return. This is private property. Oh, I uh, feared as much. I was lost in the tunnels. Who the devil are you? Another lost traveler in this infernal city, it appears. Galahad tries to trick this guy into thinking that he's some lost traveler who ended up in the wrong place, even though he clearly has a pistol strapped on him. The worst part? The guy actually falls for it. Sniper! Hey, look! Another sniper that had a perfect shot to kill Galahad and fails miserably. His name was mentioned. They are arranging a meeting. So, you think you can get away with playing the pronoun game this far into the narrative, huh? Ah, don't think so. Hey, remember when Galahad got pumped full of bullets just a few minutes ago? All of a sudden, his clothes are completely clean! If you had subtitles turned off, oh fuck it. Annoying AI partner. Get the hell out of my way, woman! Whatever the hell this is. Vampires, it can't be. Hell, 
the half-breeds are consolidating their power. With the protection of the Lycans in your land, Hastings and his vampire ilk are spreading disease throughout your- Lord so Hastings, you can't be one of them. So, are you saying that vampires and werewolves, immortal enemies, are actually working together? That's a sin right there. It'd be like Guile teaming up with M. Bison. It just wouldn't happen. <laughs> well, that was easy. Over here, I found some fuel. Convenience! Stupid AI. Head locking the lichen. Honestly, I was half expecting another button prompt so I could put him in the crippler crossface. I never thought to see you again, daughter. How did you find us? There's no time. Okay, first of all, you did tell her to guard the escape routes, did you not? Devi, I need you to go and guard the escape routes. Secondly, rescue ex machina. You must help us. I'm a knight, sworn to protect the realm, not bring it crashing down. Then you must trust no one. How are you going to tell him to trust no one when you just asked him for help? Does that not require trust? Well, 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 look at what we have here. Yet another chapter that is strictly a cutscene. And this one is only four minutes. I guess that one should be worth seven deadly sins. Keep it up, fellas. You're doing great. What in the world is going on? Not now, is he? Don't walk away from me. I saw you at Whitechapel. Is this some kind of clandestine infiltration? Is that what you're up to? This isn't the time. Great, whatever it is. For God's sake, tell me. Not this time, is he? And this is the part where I roll my eyes and sigh in repugnance. Now is the perfect time for explanation. Every detail is still fresh in your mind. You can clarify your temporary alliance with Ronnie to the one knight who knows about that little secret, describe the infiltration of the docks and the vampire findings, all while exposing Lord Hastings as a vampire and clearing up any misconception as to why you pursued Ronnie in the first place. See how easy that was? It was all rather... What is the word the commissioner is so fond of? Oh yes, elementary. You mean elementary, my dear Watson? Instant death stealth sequences. Oi, you! Video game cliche number 20. The last guy to get killed is the one with the key. Ronnie being an annoyance again. Get you cover, knight! Knight, take cover! Knight! I'm down! Cock it down! Damn it, man. I was really hoping to go through this entire game without encountering a single glitch. Oh well. Too bad. Knight! Over here! You will want to see this. These are shipments that were sent to my homeland. A book that big and you managed to find the one page that features all of the information you need to advance the plot on the first try. Impressive! Most impressive. Oh snap! Lord Hastings is a vampire! Except we already knew that big reveal, so the big reveal is not that big of a deal. Jacob Van Neck, or as the Fleet Street pamphleteers have so fondly named me, Jack the Ripper. I already explained why this is a sin. Skip! I thank you, Sir Lucan, for delivering these meddlers. Deal with them. And do not fail us. Oh snap! Lucan is a traitor! And absolutely nobody is surprised. Stay where you are. Wait, I can explain. I said, don't move. Sure, now you can explain yourself. Why don't you tell them about the blood-sucked corpse up in Hastings' room? The three werewolves you just killed? or the logbook filled with shipment evidence. Surely you can say something that could at least question Lord Hastings and Lucan's actions. And alas, we come to yet another chapter that is strictly a cutscene. This one's a little bit longer, but it's still worth five sins. Sir Galahad is a base traitor, a man without honor or scruple. I ask the council to impose the supreme penalty. So are you not gonna explain anything at your own trial, Galahad? You were willing to explain yourself just a couple of minutes ago, and now you got cold feet? The proof against the traitor is... irrefutable. So irrefutable that I will be able to refute the proof against him starting... now. I saw Sir Galahad in the company of the rebel leader. 
I was too far away to hear them clearly. But they seemed on familiar terms. First of all, you were too far away to hear them clearly, which means you did not catch their exact conversation. Two, notice how Egrain used the word seemed in her testimony. Seemed does not mean confirmed or precise. If I were a judge, I would have dismissed her eyewitness account right there and then. So Galahad sought an audience with the Lord Chancellor and me. He hurled a number of senseless accusations at the United India Company and seemed intent on finding Lord Hastings. If they were truly senseless accusations, then you should have easily conjured up a counter-argument to put the accusations to rest. Which you did not. The sentence is death. Really? Then what was the point of all that torture at the beginning of the game? Just delaying the execution, or are you guys just assholes? Either way, sinful! First person point of view at critical plot moments. Wow. Fifth chapter in this entire game that is strictly a cutscene. You guys really want us to hate you, don't you? Well, you're in luck! Because you just earned your game 10 more sins! You're my friend. And where did you get that black water again? The Lord Chancellor already took his away. Two days. It has already been two days. We cannot leave him here like this. Two days? So, let me get this straight. This Blackwater throughout the game has proven to heal werewolf wounds, broken necks, near-fatal gunshot wounds, and an airship explosion that crashed back to Earth, all within a matter of minutes. But drowning? No, that requires extra treatment. <laughs> Just laugh at that, people. It's basically plot liquid. I will call upon him if he lives through this ordeal. Who the fuck are you? Nicola, how do you know Nicola? I will let him explain his involvement in our affairs. Because I'm too busy to not explain because the game would be shorter than it already is. <laughs> I'll have you know that I tried to sprint and get into cover during this bit. The game would not allow it. Lady Agrain, there is evidence of a few people having been here. Sir Galahad must have had help. Get word to the council that we have tracked the convict. How the hell did you even know Galahad was recuperating there if you didn't witness him being rescued by Tesla? Do you not know? I am a knight no longer. A knight you are not, monsieur. But are you a turncoat or a patriot? You heard him all the way from an entire floor with a hallway that stretches several meters back surrounded by walls? Uh, no. Two revolutions have taught Lafayette that there are dangers on both sides. Your French accent is slipping, Lafayette. Badass Arklands can only be found near the end of the game. I knew you would return, brother. Come out of the shadows, damn you! Personally, I hate scenes like this. It's like, hey, I can hear your voice, but I can't track your location because I have to wait for your dramatic entrance of you in your final form, and then I question why you turned traitor, and then you retort with your philosophical mumbo jumbo, and then we finally do battle, and fuck it, I made my point. You and I, we are not that different. Reusing the same line that Ronnie said to Galahad earlier. We are more alike than you think. Remember how I said that there was only two boss battles in the entire game? Yep, this is the other one. The worst part, it is an exact carbon copy of the previous one. Embarrassing, isn't it? Why, Alistair? You have forced us outside all these years. I've seen things I am condemned to remember. Civilizations born and destroyed by humanity's incessant greed. The pride of men <laughs> slaughtering each other in the name of their so-called God. Wow, that was some good stuff. No, truly, I'm not saying that in a sarcastic way at all. Lucan speaks truth. There's only one problem. It took seven hours for the game to get that good. It is I who needs your forgiveness. I never meant this life for you. You knew. I have always known. The Lord Chancellor is evil after all. Called it! Yeah, this totally doesn't look familiar at all. And just like that, the game ends. Tying up loose ends? Ha! <laughs> In your dreams! Obvious setup for an obvious sequel is obvious. So, let me get this straight. A short single-player campaign, with no multiplayer, 
no bonus content, but also with no new game plus? Fuck you, game. Your game is so terrible that it belongs in the bargain bin because it is so elementary, my dear Watson. to tell you, mate. Good guys win, bad guys lose. And as always, England prevails. Just not in this game. <laughs> you know, Sir Galahad, I hate to break it to you, but um, your mustache is getting dirty. <laughs>